Welcome to Out of the Box, where we take a very VAT-19 look at some of our favorite products. Today we're checking out toys that are probably too dangerous for kids. We're gonna unbox them, and we're gonna show you how to use them. We're also gonna show you how not to use them. Mm, let's do this. Okay, mm I think I want the royal blue one. Mm, you mean cobalt? It's more of a... Yeah, all right, sure. Oh! Oh no. Yes! The shock ball. Activate. Oh no. It's, it's all like yours. A, it's like a grenade. It's all yours. All right. Well, this is the shock ball, and it is recommended for ages 14 and up because it produces. Oh! <laughs> no! I feel like I, I feel it in my hair. Oh, I, I still feel it. It's in my hair. It was still like staticky kind of. If you only touch around these like silver touch points, you're gonna be fine. It lights up like that when it's shocking, but it's just random. Intermittent. Yeah, you have no idea when it's gonna shock you, but if you leave it out on the table, it'll it'll turn off automatically for safety. Wow, this thing is it's it's scary. It's not dangerous, but you don't want to give this to kids. It's definitely more more intense. So yeah. like I wouldn't I wouldn't give this to my five year old. One thing about it is that it makes you make some weird sounds. Yes, it does. Uh, oh, 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 like birds. Oh, okay, it's coming off. Oh, <laughs> Oh gosh! Ah! Ah! Dang it! Oh! Dang it! Fart! Ah! <laughs> oh! 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 Right, I think it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna go with yellow polka dots, please. Bring out the polka dots. Ooh. All right. What do we like got here? Clown pants. Oh! Whoa! This is a wrist strapped fireball shooter. So this lets you shoot little fireballs from your wrist or you can remotely set it somewhere and shoot them from there. So what you do is you stuff little flash paper, flash cotton pieces inside the pyro mini which is on your wrist and then you press a button and it ignites those pieces and shoots them out of your wrist really quick igniting this tiny little fire that looks really cool but it's, I mean it's not really like that dangerous but it is still fire. But it is still fire. Yeah. You gotta respect the fire. You gotta respect fire always. I have made fire. <laughs> you say that every time you shoot too. Yes, yes, you it makes can. you real cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's perfect for magicians if they want to use it as part of the show. But it's also just fun for anybody because I mean, it's fun. And it's small enough that you can hide it under your sleeve and you can't really see where it comes from. It just looks like it came out of your wrist or your hand. Magic, magic. You're shooting flames, so you're gonna feel like you're Mario, but that doesn't make you Mario. No. It's a me, Mario. No, sir. Your real name. Oh, it's a uh, Phil, uh, Philip Brown. Hey, ma'am, this man tried to jump on your turtle. Yeah, he said he was on a mushroom. Uh, let's go. Oh uh, no, no, you're coming with me. <laughs> All right, I think it's my turn. I'm gonna go with the one that has the pink bottom and the fish scales on top. Love it. Mm. I'd say it's pretty scaly. I see it. Pretty fishy. Fishy. Oh okay. yeah. The pocket shot. Beow, beow, beow. This is a different take on a slingshot. This is like a 360 degree like cone that wraps around the BB that you can shoot. Now it comes with a bunch of BBs and it shoots these things up to 350 feet per second. Uh, it's really compact. Mm -hmm. You know, you can put this in your pocket, hence the name. Projectile in, pinch it, pull it back, and fire! <laughs> you can shoot pretty much anything. You can shoot these metal ball bearings, you can shoot paintballs, Spitballs, if you want to go over to Vat 19 and pick some of those up. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say this thing is safe for kids because it can do some serious damage. Definitely. And we would know because we've shot a lot of things with this. Yes. Now, this thing is very cool to shoot, but it's even cooler to shoot in slow motion. All right, I'll take the blue one with polka dots. Bring it here. Sizable. Shakeable. Oh, oh yeah. Now this is, this is my kind of danger. I love this one. This is the Strata Launcher. This lets you make a rocket out of like a two liter bottle and the parts that are included. Yeah. And it shoots up to 350 feet in the air. It's super cool. You just fill it with some water and then you pressurize it with a bike pump, which you probably have in your garage. Yeah and you got yourself a little rocket. It can be dangerous for kids because if you launch it incorrectly, you basically have a missile on your hands. Yeah, but there is a safety release valve if you want to move it without releasing it. So this lets you build a rocket without 
A rocket scientist. Mm. That's important. But how are we going to produce enough energy to overcome gravity? We can forget about propulsion for a moment until we've discussed re-entry and ensuring the safety of materials. Uh, guys. You just have to squeeze this. I'm gonna go with the one that's clearly a hat. Mm, definitely a hat in there. Definitely a hat. That's way too dangerous for kids. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking this is a nice sun hat. Yeah. Enough for like mowing the grass. Definitely. Yeah, it's a nice dad hat. Not a hat, mm. turns out. As it turns out. Actually, it is a 10 foot pogo stick. That looks like a piece of paper. I think that thing is too hard to wrap, so yeah. we pick the hat box. Let's get that pogo stick. So this is the Vertigo, a pogo stick that can put you 10 feet in the air. That's the world record. Yeah. That's crazy. It's got an air-powered cylinder in here. Your regular little toy pogo stick doesn't have that. This is gonna get you high? Can we, can we? High up. It's gonna get you high up. This thing is accessible for younger people, mm -hmm. but it's very dangerous, so padding, Helmets for sure, knee pads, elbow pads. I think you could have fun with this, even if you weren't a pro, but it's not a toy. I don't think like young children should really be playing with this. It's pretty dangerous. Yeah, this is like a kid's toy on steroids. That's a good way to say it. Man, the kid's old Furby. God, these things were annoying. Yeah, come at me, bro! <laughs> Yo, come at me, bro! Bro! I will take that very fashionable mm. diamond padded one. Love it. Here it is. Mm. Quite large. What do you think it is? Something dangerous. Definitely. Oh! Ooh. Yeah! Yeah. Yep. This one's illegal. Londites! Whoa, I've never actually held these. I've only heard about these. Yeah, yeah everybody's heard about these. There's like urban legends about lawn darts. Supposedly these have killed people. Is that really true? I don't know if that's true, but I can see it. I don't know. It looks kind of fun to me. It does look fun um, with proper supervision. Wow. All right. These are solid and sharp. Yes. Obviously uh, very dangerous. Another name for these is javelin darts. I don't think kids usually should be playing with javelins. You can see why they were banned twice here in America. Yeah, we, we found an old set online mm -hmm. somewhere. Yeah. Basically the way you play lawn darts is you throw these up and gravity pulls them back down onto a target. It's just throwing around sharp, sharp objects. Objects. So obviously these are pretty unsafe. Yeah. It makes me wonder what other ideas this inventor came up with. I call it scissors tag. I call it kick the candle. I call it asbestos bean bags. <coughs> I call it electric red rover. I call it plastic bag hide and seek. Here we go. Spin move. Mm, I call my spin bed. Oh. Ooh. I wow, I don't know what this is. Uh okay, we got a wallet here. No. That's well, it. yeah. It is a wallet, John, but it's not just a wallet. Okay. I feel like I'm, it's gonna explode. Is this like a James Bond wallet? It is the pyro wallet. Yeah. Let's say you're at a party or okay. whatever. Uh -huh. You wanna give somebody your business card. Yeah. Pull that out and... Whoa! Whoa! That, whoa! Yeah. That was on fire. Here's my business card. Wow, and it's actually like not burned up. You would definitely not be forgotten if you handed somebody a flaming business card. They would they would remember you. And you could do other things. You could do cash. It would be like a fun way to pay at the gas station. You're yeah. Like, <laughs> I'll yeah. take a pack of gum, please. <laughs> you're definitely James Bond. I mean, you keep the flames. So how does it work? All right, so you pre-soak the cards in highly flammable liquid, and then you slip it into the plastic sleeve that keeps it from getting all over your other contents in your wallet. Okay. And then when you pull it out, there's this little arc lighter that you push a button. Oh. Pretty cool. Ooh. I don't know if it's cool. I could feel that flame. That <laughs> it's was very warm. Ooh. I just wonder what kind of person is actually using this. <sighs> could you blow it out, please? I can't spare the oxygen. All right, we'll check out these toys and no, not, not these toys, not those toys, but lots of toys and hundreds of other curiously awesome gifts at bat19.com. No, sir, your real name. Ah, uh, Phil Brown. Sorry, that was weird. <laughs>
How are we supposed to produce enough energy to overcome gravity? Trust me. Just call me babe. Babe. Listen, babe. Babe, babe. Babe, babe.